Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we'd do a little bit of a day in the life of my little Etsy business and show you some of the things that we are making at the moment for Etsy. And yeah, I just thought I'd take you along with me, show you how you can create some items using Cricut machines and make a bit of extra money. So if you're interested to see what I've got to show you, then just continue to watch. <laughs> So hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet and I do new videos on this channel every week. And if you're one of my lovely subscribers coming back, thank you so much for coming back and supporting me. If you haven't already, there is a little subscribe button down there in red somewhere. I would honestly love for you to click that and stick around as it really helps me in my channel. If you like this video and you do want to subscribe, click on that button down there and join our YouTube family. So without further ado, I'm going to get into today's video. Now, as you may know, I have worked with Cricut in the past and today's video is kindly sponsored by Cricut. Cricut do so many different craft machines. They do cutting machines and then they also do mug presses. They do the easy press, which is where you can put decals onto clothes. They do so many things. Okay, so yeah, a bit of a different video today. I thought I would do a little bit of a day in the life and show you some of the things that I've been creating for our Etsy business. So if you are new here, you may not know, I do actually have a business called Glow Up Beauty, which is for my lashes and tan but because obviously at the moment every little helps me and my friend decided that we were going to have a little etsy business called crafty blondies and um, we do lots of like gift hampers and things like that things that are already just packaged really nicely but also we have started to do personalized items with the Cricut machine so if you are new here you may not know but I've worked with Cricut on a few occasions and um, creating things using their cutting machine I have the maker 3 and also I've done a lot of project projects for myself and for friends using the easy press as well and um, so I will leave those videos if you want to go back. I actually did one, I actually did a festive video last year which had loads of really cool ideas for Christmas. So I'll make sure I leave that below. But in our Etsy shop at the moment we have been making these reindeer bags as one of the items. So you can get them for your children or for your husband, for anybody you want really. These are the ones with the red antlers. Um, and we've also been doing these. These are the gold antler, antler bags. And this is actually Samson's. So it's got a little paw print on there as well. So you can put like dog treats in there. Um, we've been selling these on Etsy. They're going really, really well. And I just wanted to share with you like what we've been doing because... I just think it's really a good idea to have at the moment for me it's important being self-employed to have a few streams of income coming in because it's just hard at the moment and I feel like if I know things like cricket machines are big investments but I feel like it's a really good way of having a separate income which is going to help around this time so yeah me and my friend have been doing this I'll show you some of the things that we've been selling and um show you how I use the Cricut Maker. I've also got today the mug press to show you as well which I'm super excited about because that is going to be for me to introduce some new um, products in the new year so I'm going to get that out and give that a go for the first time and show you the mug press as well. Hi guys so I've just um, gone and picked up some stock, some bubble wrap, some boxes, some stuff for my Etsy shop um, so yeah it's been really really busy in Etsy um I think it's the lead up to Christmas if you are new here I mean my friend started up like a little hamper company um on the side as well as doing YouTube and glow up so I'm just been to the cash and carry and to our packaging company we're so lucky that we actually found a local um packaging supplier so I'm really really pleased about that um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and take this back because I've got like six rubs, six loads of uh, bubble wrap. Um, six loads of, this is biodegradable bubble wrap. So we've just picked that up and um, loads more boxes as well. So yeah, just going to go and get them home and unpack them all. Okay, so the Etsy shop has been crazy over the weekend. Um, me and my friend actually packed up over 80 orders yesterday but I've just left the reindeer bags left to do and I've just got a couple more smalls boxes to box up in a sec but I just thought I'd show you how I'm doing the reindeer bags which is using my Cricut Maker 3 and the Easy Press. So I'm gonna do those now because I've just got three outstanding orders of those so I'm gonna do them in a bulk. So 
I've just set myself up with my laptop. I'm gonna crack on. I've already got the template ready. So I'm just gonna do those now. So I've got a list of, there's four here to do. Um, and then I have another, so I've got four there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags to do. So I'm gonna do those now. So I whack up my Cricut Design Space and I've popped in the names ready. I don't know what you're gonna be able to see from there. going to show you exactly how I do these because I have done videos before but this is the Cricut Design Space. I actually pay for this myself. Um, it's about $7.99 a month I think. So I've got all the names there. Okay so just come over to this side. So I've just got my laptop set up and my Cricut Maker 3 um, and then I'm going to be using the Smart Iron on Vinyl in red. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. The Maker 3 uses Smart Vinyl which basically means that it doesn't need a mat to do it, it just takes it off the roll, which when you've got a small business, time is of the essence, so that really helps me. Um, and it's not much more expensive than normal vinyl. All I do is click make it on my laptop, you can't see it from there, but it's like I say, it's really straightforward. I'm not gonna show you exactly how it works. Um, and then once that's done, you just click continue, and then I've obviously got to turn on the Cricut Maker on and it will find the maker now. Okay, so because you're doing an iron on, you always need to mirror. So, okay, that's found it now. So we want smart iron on. I always put a bit more pressure on. So you need to load it in shiny side downwards. So this bit goes into the machine like so. Click my little arrows. I don't know if you can see up there, there's a little flashing arrow I'm gonna click. And then it's gonna go in, so. I'll let the cricket maker do its work. Okay, so they are, you probably won't be able to see them now, but I'll show you in a minute. The names are on there, which is very hard to see. I'm going to cut these off, weed them all out using my weeding tool, and then I'll show you how I do them. Okay, so I'm all set up now for the easy press. I'm ready to do the bags. So I'm gonna pop this on to heat up while I'm talking to you. I've got my heat mat in front of me and I've got my reindeer bags. So these are the reindeer bags we have been selling. I'll show you what they look like when they're done, obviously. So I've got eight to do. Um, these are the ones with the red antlers. And then we also have these with the, where are they? with the gold antlers so i'm going to be doing these now so i've just got my easy press on i'm just warming that up I've done quite a fair few of these now so i'm pretty confident to put this up to about 180 degrees and leave it for a minute so i'm going to turn it around to face me so that i can see what i am doing um and then i'm going to just go down my list so i've got cologian i hope that's how you say it, gold bag so i'm just gonna pop the reindeer bag down on the heat mat, leaving the satin ties out of the way because I'm not sure how they will take the heat. And then once that's there, I'm just gonna pop the name that I've got so that's what it looks like. Pop that down onto the bag. Make sure it's nice and neat, nice and central. Once it's where I need it to be, Almost there. It's taking a little bit longer. I think it's because it's cold. Okay, we're at temperature now, so I'm going to pop this on, like so, and then press the cricket button, and this is going to start counting down now. Okay, that is done. I'll take that off. This is very hot right now, so you've got to be very, very careful not to burn yourself, um, but we need to take it off while it's still nice and warm on these bags. I've found that works the best. Okay, so that is off now and that is what that looks like. And then these can be filled with like chocolate coins or whatever they want to put in them. I just think they're absolutely stunning. I love things like this because they can really last like year in, year out. So I'm going to do the rest of this order, do the others, 
and then pack these up and I'll show you what these look like when they're ready to be sent out. So it's pretty late now. Um, I've done a lot of tasks today, but I've just had an order come through. Um, it is 20 to 10 at night. <laughs> small business alert um but it's express delivery and although technically you can you can send out although technically they have to do an express before 12 to have next day delivery um i'm going to do it now because i'm still up here packing so i've just finished the reindeer bags i've got a little crafty blondie stickers and postal boxes and then because it's christmas obviously we've put in some craft paper in. i did have some nice uh, um brown craft paper with like really nice christmas trees all over it but we've run out of that it's so busy um so yeah, it's this one so i'm gonna pop them in here pop a little thank you card on so that is that little one that's the reindeer bags pop a little thank you card in and that is going out to its new home I've got the postage label on that one and then this is our most well our busiest box this year um and th this year like we've been doing it years um this has been our biggest box so most popular so let me see if i can put the camera around the other side so you can see it so this one is our s'mores kit so this is the one that's doing the best this christmas Let's see if i can pop you there so you can see um, this one, it is um, the bigger box, so this is a six box. Technically everything's sealed in it, but I still always put gloves on because it gives me the ick. <laughs> so um, in this small box, this is a six person box. So what they get in there is a burner. So this is chafing fuel. So this is like a little tiny s'mores burner. So that goes in there. You also get your little glass bottle of mashes which we hand do every jar and put like striking paper on. It doesn't take us long at all. <laughs> um, and then this one because this is six they have 12 biscuits. So 12 s'mores biscuits in this one. And then also 24 marshmallows. So normally in the two pack and the four pack, you get like either a, uh, an eight or a 16 pack. But this one, they get 24 in it. They also get these mini Nutellas. Um, and then in the six box, you get six of these. So this is quite good value for money, this one. It's a nice little hamper gift. And then you get three sets of skewers. Um, obviously for six people. So they, I'm just going to slide those down in there. Obviously pop a trusty thank you card in there. And then people can request a gift message in there if they like, but like I say, we're coming to the end of Christmas now. I'm um, just going to put a little bit more packing in there. We try to use everything, everything that we use for as recyclable as possible. But this fuzz, we call it the fuzz, gets everywhere, everywhere. So, yeah. put that in. And you also get your instruction card on the top on how to use it or directions if you're buying it for a gift as well, I suppose. It's always good to know. And that is that bagged up. So that's our small kit ready to go at Express Delivery. I'm just going to do the postage for that now. Um, and bag it up. And then that one's a postal which can go out. So yeah, those two last done. They're the final ones I'm going to do tonight. Like I say, nearly 10 o'clock now. So... I'll finish these and then it'll be done. Okay, so it's a bit of an exciting one today um, as well because I've also been kindly sent from Cricut their mug press and now the shop is kind of closed for Christmas. 
now is the time that I'm going to be focusing on like next year and Valentine's Day and things like that and again this is something you can incorporate into a small business or something that you could just do as a hobby but I'm really excited to try this so this is their mug press and what this allows you to do is transfer onto a ceramic item such as a mug now there's two ways you can do it you can actually buy the infusible ink from Cricut and they come in like these little sheets which are actually really um, easy to use because they're the same size as a mug which makes it really nice and easy to do she says I'm about to try for my first ever attempt today or you can use a sublimation so I'm actually looking to invest in a sublimation printer very soon because it will really help me in my business, especially like printing onto fabrics as well. Because at the moment, using Cricut vinyls and stuff, they're amazing to use, but unless you layer the, the, layer the designs, um, sublimation gives you so much more variety because you can print like pictures onto things and images like logos. So that is something that I will be trying to do. I do think that's in like, one of my goals to try and invest in the new year and um, but first of all I'm just going to try an ink so I've got a design that I've done in my Cricut design space and I'm going to be putting them on a mug so there is loads of different things you can buy from Cricut and um, they can they do these mugs which are like the stackable mugs I really have seen um, some amazing things on their design space with these they've done like um, you can do a skeleton so all four cups of the different pieces of the skeleton there's like loads of different ideas i thought would be great for like fall next year but for today i'm going to be using the 15 ounce mugs um no i'm not <laughs> these are the 12 ounce mugs and i'm going to be doing one of these one for leo one for lucas so i'm going to try start off with lucas's because i wanted to do him a mug for his birthday and so i just thought it's a great way to practice i've seen some amazing things that i want to incorporate in my etsy shop next year but for now i thought it had best to try something for me personally just in case i mess it up um but these are the mugs from cricut now i'm going to be showing you on cricut mugs i'm sure there are that certain different mugs you can use but i would recommend always buying from cricut because at least you know it's compatible with the machines so this is 100 percent compatible with the mug press um, and this is what i'm going to be printing on today this is a 12 ounce mug they also do 15 ounce mugs as well so i'm gonna set this up in a minute and show you how i get on for my first attempt but i'll show you what i've designed so let me just load up my computer i'm gonna i'm gonna put it on the screen now because that's just going to be the easy way of doing it so okay so i'm just going to show you here so this is the design that i've created in cricut it was really easy i just got the template and then it gives you this kind of like outline of what the mug um size is and then these are all off the design space i do like i say pay for my design space so i've just put lucas there and then i've managed to do this t-shirt here by just doing a little bit of witchery with the um slice tool so i've been able to cut out dudley and five so that is ready to go so i'm just gonna make this now and see how i get on but in fact what i need to do first is just set up my mug press okay so i'm not going to talk you through the whole like setup process of this because um there are plenty of tutorials out there this isn't a tutorial video i'm just showing you how i incorporate some of the cricket items in my everyday small business so this is going to be my new venture so i'm going to quickly set this up and then i'll just show you quickly me using it see how i get on and fingers crossed it turns out nice okay so i'm ready i've got my design on here if you can see that i have to say this was very tricky so probably not great for a beginner but i did it um so this is my mug ready my light is now green on here and i've also got ready my heat mat so this is actually came with my easy press 12 by 12 so i've got that on the side ready to put the mug on because the mug will obviously be very hot so here we go i've never done one before so apparently you tilt to put it in like so and then I heard to put the hand a little bit to the left and then you want to push this down 
until the handle is roughly in the middle of the gap and make sure that all your design is in the heat press and then this progress button is starting which means it's starting to press um, I'm not going to tilt it let me just see if I can lift you up to show you um, ignore all the mess down there <laughs> um, that's the progress light on the top there so I'm just going to wait for that to finish and then fingers crossed it turns out okay but like I said this is my first attempt so if it doesn't work I'm not going to be really upset with myself all lights have gone off it's just bleeped at me so here we go now you lift this up and then this sh the, this bit shouldn't be hot the handle but i'm still going to be very careful to get it out and i'm going to pop it on the heat proof mat and i'm going to leave it here until it's cooled down and i can take the sticky off okay i've just removed this off oh my gosh look at that this was really hard to weed i didn't think this would come out as good as it has but wait guys look at this how amazing is that i am so so pleased with that i didn't think it would turn out that good i'm really really impressed so there we have it my first ever mug with the mug press I am super impressed with that. I don't know what you guys think, but we paid to have Lucas Leo have one last year, but that is so cute. I love it so much, and I'm really impressed. I didn't think that would turn out as good. I was going to love that so much. So yeah, this is definitely something else that I can now add to my shop. Not necessarily this design, but I just wanted to try the mug press out because it's Lucas's birthday soon. I thought I would do him a mug and i think he's gonna absolutely love that so everything i've spoke about that i've used from cricut i will link below thank you so much to cricut for collaborating with me on this video i just really hope it's give you some inspiration whether you use a cricut machine for yourself or whether you use it to start a small business i do think it's a really good investment if you are somebody who loves to do crafts and you want to make a bit of extra money i just think it's a really good way to go i would say that etsy take a massive percent of profit so it is great to be able to sell small to friends and family um but we went through etsy because it's a bigger platform where people can like really see your items so yeah i thought i would do like a little bit of a day in the life and show you some of the bits that we've been doing for our business and i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i would love for you to subscribe and stick around and until next time guys take care I lose my